Entertainment Spot Jamaica hit give you the baddest news and reviews. <laughs> Is there? Hey guys, what's good? Welcome back to Entertainment Spot Jamaica. So one of the greatest women's 100 meter clashes, at least on paper, will take place in, in Oregon with the staging of the Prefontaine Classic, a leg of Wanda Diamond League at the Hayward Field today. The Jamaican trio of Elaine Thompson Hira, Shelly and Fraser Price and Sherika Jackson who finished 1-2-3 in the event at the Olympic Games in Tokyo, Japan last month will be challenged once again by several of those at least who were in the final. The United States Sakari Richards who was absent in Tokyo through a doping ban will also be featured and hope to prove a point. Tamsa Hira won gold in Tokyo in the 100 meter and 200 meter and 4 by 100 meter relay to become the first woman and second athlete after Usain Bolt to win both the 100 meter and 200 meter consecutive Olympic Games. Tamsa Hira who also broke Florence Griffin Joyner's 33 year old record in the 100 meter clocking 10.61 seconds to become the second fastest woman ever will lead the charge. She said during the official press conference ahead of the meet yesterday which also featured Shelly and Praiser Price, Sherika Jackson and Shakari Richards that she had not yet had time to celebrate her Tokyo outing as she is still in training ahead of the continuation of her season. There is no celebration, she told reporters. I have not been home yet. The preparation is still going on. This is my first Diamond League 100 meter for the season. So I'm really looking forward to my first race after the Olympics. My aim is to continue to keep aiming, keep dreaming, keep doing what I do and continue to inspire the younger generations. Fraser Price also had a taste of history in Tokyo becoming the first athlete of any gender to win four career Olympic medals over 100 meter. She says the depth in the women's 100 meter event has helped to force her to give of her best each time she takes the track. I am glad that you have the competition because when you are in practice you always have to make sure that you are giving that 100% at all times because you can't have room for any errors or any slacking off because there are so many other ladies who are behind you coming. So it definitely forces you to be on your A game and I think that's good for me as an athlete because I always want to make sure that each time I step on the line I have given 100% and I always want to run my best race. When asked about the new look of Hayward Field which was recently renovated, Fraser Price joked that she was not dazzled. It's good, the colors are pretty but maybe because I've been here before I didn't get that wow effect right away because I've been here before and I've seen it on TV so it's okay she said. Which also was her usual brash self at the press conference declaring that while she has respect for Tamsi Hero and Shelly and Fraser Price accomplishments her focus is just on herself. Lining up against these women is gonna be amazing race tomorrow she said. Two of the women sitting here are two of the fastest women ever to do this sport so I am honored to be on the same stage with them but I am not starstruck. When it's time to get on the line, we all do the same things, it's about what you are going to do when you are in the lane. If you are worried about the next lane, how can you fully invest into what you need to do to put your thought into getting down the track in yours. I am eager to run against them and bring the best out in them. And I hope they can bring the best out in me, she said. With Americans Daniel, Switzerland's Mijunga, Kambunji, the Ivory Coast, Mary Jones, Tula Hu, and the addition of Jamaican's teenager Brianna Williams, who ran the opening leg and Jamaica's successful women's 4x100 meter relay team. The stage is set for something very special and if conditions are right, we could see a subtotal of 10.6 seconds cocking by the winner tomorrow, well not tomorrow, well today when the starting gun goes off at 3.41 pm Jamaican time. Another cracker is also expected in the men's 100 meter as world leader Chavon Barnell, Barmel with a season's best of 9.7 seconds and who surprisingly did not make the final of the event in Tokyo will be out for redemption in heavyweight clash. His countryman Fred Kirkley, the silver medalist in Tokyo, Ronnie Baker who was a finalist and the veteran Justin Gatlin 
and Tokyo Olympics 200 meter fourth place finisher Michael Norman will be gunning for success here. However, Canadian Andrew Degrasse, the bronze medalist in Tokyo and finalist Akane Simbi of South Africa will be hoping to once again spoil the Americans' joy. Jamaican Genevieve Russell and Rohanda White will also be involved in the women's 400 meter hurdles today. Russell, who was fourth in Tokyo in a personal best 53.8 seconds, and White, who was disqualified in Tokyo for false starting, will take on silver medalist Dahalia Muhammad and her fellow American Shamir Little. So, people, this is my final post until the race at. 3 41 pm jamaican time today so as i said in many of my videos this race is gonna be epic i'm looking for a one two three but as i said um the ladies the jamaican ladies have a great fight because shakari richards is coming with her a game today so i don't know say how the race is epic right now i can't wait to see it and it's gonna be history i'm looking for a royal record from even um elaine thompson because she's extremely fast extremely fast so i'm looking for a real record me know she's gonna come out and she has gonna run left the track you see me i say she gonna take off like a lightning bolt as the people would have said so me know say yo this race is gonna epic um as me say yo me i look for a one two three but um more likely we are gonna have elaine thompson first um shaka richards second and shelly and fraser price Third, is it me? I say, yeah, man. So, boy, right now, more than mind if them do it one, two, three, four because I heard there are four Jamaicans competing. Um, as I said, Elaine Thompson, Sherika Jackson, um, Shelly and Fraser Price, Brianna Williams, those are the four. So, I wouldn't mind if them do it one, two, three, four. This would be um, the biggest history in Jamaica. We have um, four ladies coming one, two, three, and four. We did it in the Olympics, so we must can do it um, in the Diamond League. Is it I say? Yeah, man, we must can do it. You have to have faith. A lot of people are glued to their television right now. Probably me not get the chance to watch the video exact time. After I'll watch it and I'll keep you all updated on what's going on. Is it I say? yeah people so as me say the race is epic um remember to like comment subscribe turn on the post notification so y'all won't miss any update is what i say yeah people um as i said this is my last video until the race so as i said remember to subscribe guys turn on the post notification like the videos when y'all like the videos youtube recommend the videos to more people so remember to like the video as well in our castle in our dollar if you like the video people thanks for watching guys subscribe to entertainment spot jamaica